I think I'm better off than the landed gentry because I haven't got this millstone round my neck of trying to keep a stately home together. I don't have any grand illusions. No, I'm working class. I've nothing to be ashamed of. And this is my house. Dior's magazine has just voted me um, the smallest stately home in Britain. I don't think you can get much smaller than this. <laughs> When I first moved in here 45 years ago, just after the war with my mother, we literally had nothing. But I decided I'd get off my backside and do something about it. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't gamble, I don't go on holiday. All the money I have over from when I've paid my way goes into my home. At least I've got something to show for it. I can order the chimes to Westminster, um, Dick, uh, the Dick Whittington chimes and the All Saints chimes. So it's got three different chimes I can have on it. So when I'm fed up with one, I can put it over on the other, you see. Well, this is the green and gold drawing room, as you can see. It's basically green, but with gold trimmings. This I call the Tudor bedroom because it's panelled and uh, I even did the pipes. I didn't want to box them in because I thought that would make it look too obvious and so I just covered the pipes in wallpaper. Right, we're now going into the loo. Lavatory doesn't sound right, does it? Sounds like something out in the street. Uh, um, I think it's more in keeping with the house section. I've visited so far about 250 stately homes in England and uh, go round and have a look. Quite a few of them know me, especially at Windsor. I go around Windsor quite often because we have a free pass if you live in the borough. I'm in keeping with the royal family because they live in a council house. Windsor Castle, Buckingham Palace doesn't belong to them, it belongs to the state. So it's a council house. So if they can live in a council house, so can I.